Hey there, Michelle. How's everything? How hey, doing? Lindsay. How are you? I'm good. I'm feeling great. Loving that it's getting a little cooler outside. They were getting into fall, so it feels good. Yes, life yeah, is good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know, Lindsay, uh, I feel like your hair is really Julia Roberts-esque. Um, has anyone wow. ever told you that? Michelle, that is a big compliment. You know, <laughs> Julia Roberts is amazing. She's aged so well. I'm not sure if I will age as well as Julia Roberts has. <laughs> uh, well, thank you. No one's told me that before. I've gotten a lot of compliments really? on my hair. I do get a lot of compliments on my hair, but never <laughs> Julia Roberts level compliment. Oh, uh, <laughs> no, it's like Julia Roberts, like, like the, I don't know. It's not quite my best friend's wedding because it's not like <laughs> giant like that, but it's like, just like this, these beautiful, you know, I feel like well, your hair is very you. Julia Roberts-esque. So I love it. I love it. And that is a very interesting way that you delivered that, that phrasing, Michelle. Is that mm. what we're getting into today? You said I, maybe. Yes, that is Ooh. what we are getting in today, uh, into today because we have a question from a listener that's going to be a lot of fun. And guys, listen, make sure you don't stop listening through this episode because towards the end, we are going to have a poll for if you are listening on Spotify, you will get to participate in this poll. So we want to hear mm. from you. We want to get your opinion. We want to get uh, hear hear you know some an answer to a poll that we're gonna we're gonna put out into the world. So if you're listening yes. on Spotify, look out for that. Answer the question, and we will share the results in a future episode. Yes, I love it. It's so cool. We have these amazing polls now, and you want to make sure that your voice gets heard. So listen to the rest of the episode and participate in the poll when we announce it. And Michelle, what should our listeners do to make sure they don't miss a single episode of All Ears English this fall? Well, guys, if you haven't done this already, shame on you. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> if you haven't done this already, make sure it's very easy. All you have to do is hit the follow button wherever you are listening to All Ears English. Make it easy on yourself. We always say, like, for me, I know when I am going to listen to a podcast or, you know, several podcasts that I follow. And if I'm not following them, I'm, I'm, I might, like, forget or I might then I have to go look for it. And why? Yeah. Why just do that extra step? Just hit follow. Yeah. Yeah, this is the time to hit follow, create a new routine that feels more like entertainment. Come and connect with us and enjoy learning English, guys. That's right. Okay, Michelle, I'm ready for Pablo Gonzalez's question. Should I read it? All right, please do. This is from Spotify. Uh, oh, awesome. So Pablo says, I absolutely love your work. Could you talk about the suffix esque and explain mm. to us how to create adjectives? The other day I heard the expression, Rube Goldberg ask, and it made me curious. Oh, fun. That yes. is fun. Yes. This is a very uh, specific, good question, guys. We love these. So mm -hmm. let's get into it, Lindsay. So when you hear ask, um, what is that? What does that mean? When I said Julia Roberts ask, does that mean what does that mean? <laughs> well, yeah, good question, Michelle. So if I had to choose from other suffixes, I would choose a similar one ish, I S H, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. So Julia Roberts ish, but we don't really use that in that mm -hmm. way. So mm -hmm. esque just feels to me like a more elevated way yeah. to say ish. <laughs> <laughs> a, a more elevated way to say ish that could be that title um yeah. but yeah exactly it just means like a very in a very strong way S similar mm -hmm. to in a very strong way so you know we tag this to a noun so julia roberts esque um yes. And yeah, this is this is a fun way to show your personality. You're creating yeah. your own words. And that's what oh, Pablo's so asking about, right? Oh yeah. We use this ask at home all the time. Who is Robe who's Rube Goldberg, by the you way? Know, I don't know who that is. I actually didn't look at <laughs> Okay. I'm going to look at, I, I don't know why I didn't think to look him up now. Oh, oh it looks like an American writer. Okay, okay. good. So Paolo uh, oh, knows who that is. Sculptor. Oh, cool. Cool, cool, yeah. cool. Awesome. Oh, so I wonder if that's being used mm. in a way, like if you talk about an artist, yeah, right? Uh, you know, uh, you know, some famous artist esque, it's in their style. That could also be another way that it's used, right? Right, Michelle? right. Like it's the same idea of like being Pablo similar Picasso, to also esque, yeah, mm -hmm. right. Like being similar to or in the style of, right? Like yes, it, it, yes. you know, or or inspired by, kind of in that way. 
Yeah, I like that. So it's kind of more broad than just ish, right? It kind of encapsulates art and style in a way as well, right? Yeah, I love it. For sure. For sure. Yeah. So, um, I mean, the when I said your hair is Julia Roberts-esque, I mean, I feel like it's just more interesting than saying, oh, your hair looks like Julia Roberts' hair. Yeah, that's boring, right? Looks like, of course, I would understand it. It would make sense. We could connect in that moment, Michelle, right? Mm -hmm. But let's do something a little more artsy with our English. Right, right, right. So again, you don't need to say that every single time. Like we've yes. talked about this, you know, sometimes we teach something and the the thing you don't want to use is then every time you say something yeah. looks like something else, you say ask, right? Don't get you repetitive. Did, yes. No, right. <laughs> and with anything, like you don't want to, you don't want to be repetitive. And that's why you're listening to this podcast, guys, because you want to be natural. You want to be able to sprinkle mm -hmm. these things in from time to time um, to have those natural connections. So sure. um, we're going to do some more examples in a second. But guys, uh, take a listen. Recently, we did episode 2059 was should you take a ride on someone's coattail? So that was another good listener question. We get such good listener questions, Lindsay, right? I love the good listener questions, Michelle, especially when it seems like this listener has been out in the world using English and the question comes directly from their experience. That is the kind of question that we love. Mm -hmm. For sure. For sure. So, all right, let's do some more examples. What's the first one? Okay. So the first one is, wow, your outfit is so colorful. It's very peacock-esque. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not so sure if that would be a compliment or an insult. <laughs> Well, I think it depends. Like if you, if it was, well, actually, because there is like a slang. Have you ever heard somebody's peacocking? Oh yeah, of course, of course. Yeah, what does that mean to you? That to expression? me, that means like somebody is like dressing in a way or doing something to get attention, like right, a peacock. Right, right, right. Totally. Mm -hmm. So in that way, like you could, if you're trying to say like, oh, you're trying to get attention, like in a negative way, but maybe the colors look like a peacock the and they're beautiful. That's yeah. what I was. That's where I was kind of going with it. So, yeah, <laughs> I think you're I think I think you're right. Actually, I think just using ask as the suffix points more to the look and feel of something rather than like the meaning behind the reason you're doing yeah. something. I think that works. Yeah. I was just yeah. saying, if someone's wearing that many colors, it could be a little chaotic. And I don't know if it, it depends on the personality. It just could be overwhelming. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, yeah. <laughs> I think you would be able to tell if it was a compliment or <laughs> yeah, an insult. For sure. For sure. Yeah. For like sure. if somebody just like comes in with this extravagant outfit and, and peacock yes. colors and it just like, maybe it's just like a little over the little top and you're like, yes. wow. Yes, but it's okay. A little color is a good thing. A little color in our lives. Next example, Michelle, you want to read it for us? Sure. Your haircut is very Rachel from Friends-esque. So cute. Nice. Okay. And we know mm -hmm. her haircut was very specific to that time period as well, right? It was very, um, very 90s. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> What's the next one? All right. Her personality is very musical theater-esque. Yeah, mm -hmm. I could see that. Someone who's just really into theater and arts and dance. And there's just a certain personality you see. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Very animated, sure. right? Yes. Yeah. Animated. That's right. Or if you're at a party, you could say these decorations are very New Year's Eve-esque. And to you, Michelle, what does that what does that mean? What would those decorations? I mean, probably like? like a lot of streamers, maybe glitter, and you know, yeah. just very, very bold. So maybe it's for a different kind of party. But you're like, oh, this is just a different way of saying, oh, these decorations remind me of New Year's Eve. Yeah, New Year's Eve esque. I would think of sparklers, yeah, maybe sparklers, yeah. lots of sparkle, lots of gold and silver, maybe yes. red and green, that kind of thing. Yeah, mm -hmm. love it. Okay, Michelle, what else do we have to know? Is this a positive or a negative thing? What do you think? Well, I think it depends on what it is. I mean, we already naturally got into a little bit of this today because we were talking yeah. about uh, the peacock, right? Like, is yeah. it nice to say somebody is like this or not nice, right? So it it really it really depends on what that thing is. Um, <laughs> so what do you think, Lindsay? I agree. So think about the word you're using. And, you know, in general, I think it's really just, it's a way to be descriptive and to be interesting in what you're saying. So mm -hmm. be careful of what you're saying, but generally, you know, yeah, it, yeah, I think it's going to be fine. Our listeners will be good. It's all about connection. <laughs> yeah? Exactly. Exactly. So, and what about work? Is it formal enough to use at work? Uh, I mean, I think so. I think, mm -hmm. 
I think as we say at Allers English, guys, and on our Business English podcast, you're having a lot of social conversations at work. Yeah. So what works in the social, in your social life can often work in your business life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. I think it's fine. But I think the biggest way, the, the biggest thing to do is have confidence whenever you use it, right? You mm -hmm. don't, you, you're not going to yeah. say like, Oh, um, you know, your haircut is very Rachel from Friends esque, right? Like yes. you can't, you, that's like a huge part of this. This is one of those, if you're going to make up a word in a way, you have to say yes. it with confidence. So you, it, it just wouldn't match if you were kind of hesitant about it. So I totally I think, agree. Yeah, yeah. Like you have to sound confidence, maybe even like a little giggle, like, oh, it's so Julia Roberts esque, you know, yeah. um, just almost kind of highlight the word. Yeah, this word is the equivalent of someone that has a big personality if you're comparing words to people. Someone yeah. that kind of comes in and just kind of flows with life and moves and makes big gestures. That's what this word is in term in the world of words. <laughs> if that makes any sense. <laughs> it's a I big gesture it. word and it's artistic and it's interesting. But to do that, we have to match kind of the way we're coming in with this word. Yeah. And also, um, you know, I don't know that you can just throw it on anything. Um, I mean, I think okay. if you're talking about a celebrity, a person, an artist, you know, I think that's pretty common. But like it's mm -hmm. I said, you know, you can't just like throw like any word in front of it necessarily. You can't just be like, oh, this is very bed esque. I mean, like you can <laughs> just because my bed is nearby. Like, you know, sometimes yeah. this is one of those you got to listen out for it. But don't, you know, be bold, be daring, try it. Why yeah. not? I would say as you get to know this word, here's a connection tip for our listeners. Start with art and art and music and yeah. maybe literature, right? Uh, you know, that novel is very Jack Kerouac-esque, yeah. right? It feels like something written by Jack Kerouac. Okay, it's in the right. same style, same time period, or in the same thing in terms of an artist, a painter. Or, you know, start with that and then move into other more less traditional ways yeah. of using it. That's what that's I would a, do. That's a really good tip. Yeah. And, you know, d I mean, as far as if you should ever avoid this, you know, if you think it might insult the person, maybe don't say it. So be careful mm -hmm. with your comparisons because maybe, you know, it's somebody would feel bad if they were compared to something, you know? So just, just mm -hmm. think before you say it. Yeah. What are some other ways, like other things that mean the same thing, Michelle? Yeah. Well, you could say reminds me of. So you could mm -hmm. say like, oh, this party reminds me of New Year's Eve. Mm -hmm. And that's why when I look at these examples, it makes sense for the art world, art and literature and mm -hmm. music, right? Another one would be just like, as we said earlier, mm -hmm. or in the style of. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good stuff. Yes. yes. All right. Okay, Michelle, so, it's time for something exciting. What's happening now? <laughs> all right. So, guys, we told you for if you are listening on Spotify, you will now be able to participate in a poll for this episode. Um, and you can answer, and then we will see your results and we will uh, let everybody know the results in a future episode. What you know, what the most people answered. So, Lindsay, would you like to read the question? Okay, guys, here's the poll, and the poll will be posted on the morning of this episode coming out, East Coast time, right? So that doesn't mean 1 a.m. East Coast time. It means, well, I don't know, maybe around 10, 9 or 10 East Coast time. Around <laughs> depends on your schedule, Michelle. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but it'll be posted in the morning. So if you don't see it exactly when you're listening, come back and do the poll, right? So here's the poll. Has that means I fell asleep, you know. Right, she fell asleep. She slept on it. Oh, no. <laughs> here's the poll. Has anyone ever told you that you look like a celebrity yes or no michelle i would like to know your answer to this poll oh man i don't want to say it because i i, I don't want everybody to be like no, no. well yes people have told me <laughs> okay you don't want to tell us who it is no well i'll okay. say okay one person once told me Jennifer Aniston and I know that it's not true but I love Jennifer <laughs> Aniston and I, I oh you know what it was it was when I was first setting up my email address my very first email address with my brother I remember it was a hotmail and you had to answer questions about it and my and like one of the questions you had to answer was like what celebrity do you look like and my brother said Jennifer Aniston and I was like and like, I have, I think I've loved her ever since. And I don't think I actually look like her, but I think like our hair color is similar. Basically that's yeah. it. And then like, um, from how I met your mother, the redhead, 
Oh, she's, I like her a lot. I like her personality. I know who you're talking about. I don't even know her. I don't even know her actress name or her name on the show to be on now. I, or something. Right. I, don't I think know. on the show, she's know. Lily. Lily. And yes. Al- I is it Allison something or something? I don't know. Not sure. <gasps> Yeah. Um, so, but anyway, I've gotten I've gotten those and but, but I don't know. Do you see anybody else? No, not at the moment that I can think of. But if I, I thought about it, I could probably come up with something. I think about this a lot. I don't know why, but I find my head going to who would that per- play that person? Like people I meet, like who would play you? Who would play you in a movie? You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't know why I think about that. I just do. It's fun. Yeah. What about you? Do people tell I've you? Never, um, I've gotten the Julia Roberts on the hair. Especially from you, Michelle. No. <laughs> uh, I've said that before, right? Times. Yeah, I think so. I've I think someone said Natalie Portman once, but uh, I don't feel it. I'm, I'm not feeling it. So I if we we're all we could all be as beautiful as celebrities, yeah. right? Yeah, really. <laughs> um so, uh, Dan gets Aaron Rodgers, the the football oh, player. Yes, I can see that. Yeah, yes. So- I, I like know. it. Very uh, interesting. So anyway, guys, answer on the Spotify poll, yes or no, and we'll be curious to hear. So. <laughs> All right. Let's do a role play, Michelle, here. We are at a party. So here we go. All right. This place is amazing. Yeah. And it's very Broadway theater-esque, don't you think? For sure. It reminds me of an old time theater. Yes. And the food is great. And it's just like the food at that new restaurant. I think they catered it, actually. Oh, wow. I knew it. Yeah, they wanted to do this party in the style of their heritage. I love that. <laughs> no. Okay. All right. So here we used, it's very Broadway theater-esque. And it's mm-hmm. a little tricky here, Michelle, with the pronunciation. Right? Yeah. Because we don't have, always have time to say esque. Yeah. And to make it all clear. Yeah, right? it's true. Yeah, you kind of have to be very clear with this. You can't really you mumble don't. it. You do, because if you don't, it'll sound like it's Broadway theater S, don't you think? It doesn't work. You actually do have to slow down, guys, when you deliver this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. That's true. So make sure you take your time. Um, So then I said, it reminds me of an old time theater. Mm -hmm. And then I said, yes, and the food is great. It's just like the food at that new restaurant. Good. It means the same thing. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then I said, yeah, they wanted to do this party in the style of their heritage. So maybe they're, I don't know. (laughs) Also on that same theme of something being similar to something in a similar style. Michelle, what's the takeaway for today? Where should we leave our listeners? We've given them a big word or a big suffix, a big way to, I don't know, just be descriptive in what they say. Yes. Well, I just realized we didn't go over the spelling. So let's just oh, one more gosh, time we before we hit yes. the road. It's E-S-Q-U-E. So it's not E-S-K. That It sounds like E-S-K, but it's E-S-Q-U-E. Oh, I'm really glad you said that, Michelle. Yeah, guys. Mm-hmm. So E-S-Q-U-E. <laughs> and, you know, any any final notes for our listeners? Anything yeah. to keep in mind? Well, I think this is just a fun way to make your own words. I mean, we there are lots of ways to do this. Like we've talked about ish, of course. Um, mm-hmm. And so give it a try. But again, have that confidence when you say it and consider if that person would want to be compared to that person or that thing. Um, And then as Lindsay said, I think that one of the biggest takeaways is was Lindsay's idea was that start with doing um, like art, you know, people, those kinds of things when you're when you're using ask. Mm -hmm. Um, And then you can branch into other uh, like less, I don't know, uh, less what's the word you used? less uh, artsy Tip- less kind of- yeah let's t- less mm-hmm. typical ways of using it i guess right right more experimental we could yeah, say right because exactly. really when you're using an experiment uh an, a suffix like this guys you're kind of making little experiments you're kind of creating your own yeah. word so it is okay to add this to the end of a word that you've never heard anyone use it with it just has to be delivered in a way that you're committing to what you're saying right michelle or saying mm-hmm. coming in with a big gesture and building confidence from that, I mean, confidence comes from experience, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, I love that. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. Well, give it a go. This was a great question. Love these kinds of questions. Really specific. Lots of fun. So uh, guys, go out and give it a try and let us know how it goes. All right. And thank you to our listener, Pablo, for the great question. All Thanks, right, Michelle. Pablo. And remember to listen to, uh, to uh, answer the Spotify poll. Yes. Talk to you soon. Have a good one. Bye. 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 